Hi, it's James here. I'm with Sam from Look Mum No Computer, who made the Furby organ you might have seen a while ago. It's got 200 Arduinos in it. And today we're going to do a load of music stuff with robots. Woo! Woo! Let's do it! Stop for that. that I think. We have lift off. But his arms are supposed to go out, but the gears are broken, so I've just got to dissect one arm and try and put the spares in. Wow. And this is going to dance. Dance, monkey, dance! The arms are a bit stumpy, we might need to put some toilet roll tubes on. Oh, we can find something. Some like rubber gloves. It's not very easy. What, is that a number one? I think so. Should be shaven. It looks pretty edgy. Yours is longer. Yeah, yeah, I haven't done it in a couple of days. It's like shaving a cat. And I know how many people have shaved cats. I, for one, have. Yo, what's up? I'm Captain Cybo Punko. And run your hair through. Kind of looks like I James. <laughs> it does. It looks like you a bit with a beard. It's it a, in the middle. It's like if we morph together and look nothing like this. Well, I think uh, when when we cut the jaw off, we're gonna. I'll let you do the hair hairstyling okay. of the beard. Yeah. Like you could do. I'm the not beard. an expert. I mean, uh, I'm I'm done up here. It's gonna slice it open like this. It's oh, oh, it's full of oh, polystyrene. <laughs> Hey <laughs> mate, how you do? Out. It's getting. And then you should be able to like squeeze this right down and get it into where it's uh, anatomically uh, correct. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's vile. It what? Oh, maybe it's just that survey's naked. We got naked servos. Oh, maybe it is working. Oh. Do you want to set? I've got one servo. <laughs> Ah! Oh, it does work. That's good. Ah. What is that? Oh, God. oh that's annoying. Ah. How's the coding going, bro? Can you code, Mr. Ah, Man, the coding, with no mouth? Coding king. How do you speak with no mouth? Uh, What's that why coming out of you? <laughs> Ventriloquility. Oh, look at that dandruff wiggling around. I'm sorry, it's going all over you. <laughs> So you're saying the ground still isn't... I don't know, I've wired a ground pin in there. So the ground, I think, is the ground. It is the ground, so that's got a common ground, and that's my cereal that goes to those. Arduino, and now I'm plugging it into the cereal of this Arduino, and sending the same data set, so it should make the arms move, but in fact it doesn't. Ah. Whoa, what, did, what was it? Something. Something! Solution! Something. Unknown! I don't know what the problem is. Well, actually, the problem is that both of these arms are linked to the same channel and they should be left and right, but they seem to both be linked to the data for one of them. Yeah! The robots are going to be all right. How long did that take? All the knobs work now. So this is head, hat for doing whatever, tilting and... What's the other one? Tilting and rolling. And then this is one arm axis. The other arm axis, Ooh, one elbow, the other elbow, rotation, and rotation. Just watch it burn! Look at that, so it goes, inlet for the fuel, and you pop a canister. This is the stopcock, which seals the reservoir where all of the gas is going to be. And then there's this solenoid, and then there's this solenoid where James is going to be able to control at the same time as the pilot light, which is going to be the end of this pipe, which is going to ignite the gas and turn it into flames. Then I'm going to have a bit of pipe that's going to bend around and come out of its mouth. Oh, sorry. Go on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so the face needs to be on fire. The face needs to be on fire. Okay, that okay. Pressure. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's on. You got it? Oh man, do it, do it. is the pilot even on? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It kept on blowing out, it was just blowing too much gas, so I've limited the amount of gas coming out as well as made the distance between the lighter and the gas pipe further. Right, I'm just wiring in this relay board so we can test automating the solenoid and the pilot light and getting the timing right. So when I turn the knob on here, then uh, it fires them at the right time and then hopefully we'll get the perfect flame. 
Just, let's try it. I so we've got 100 milliseconds of fire at the moment, but I can turn that up as well. And then that'll keep them both on. We've just got to be careful with these relays, because I'm not sure if they're active high or low. Which means when we turn it on, they might oh, well, no fire gas both solenoids, it. and then... I don't know, no, let's just try that. So I was going to have pilot first, then gas. Or do you want gas, then pilot? Yeah. A safety switch. On the, and that's on the positive line of the solenoid. Right, I just need a bit of wire then. Okay, so it needs more um, flame. Cool. We've got firehead. Firehead is sorted. So it doesn't work the first time it fires, but it heats up and then it works. Yeah. <laughs> you can smell the hair. Oh, it's disgusting. Hooray! Oh, the robots fire. are gonna be alright. <laughs> is this just a jam for just yeah, jam for the jams? Let's play that tune. <laughs> Two flamethrowers for the arms, nearly complete. They're basically the same as the one that's in the mouth, but they aren't because they're for the arms. <laughs> blow me in there, come in. Oh, I forgot which way to turn the button. <laughs> At least it lights up the time now. Yeah! <laughs> so now we did have the analog pots, we've now put these breakouts in so we can plug the jack cables in. So those go the analog into the Arduino and that sends the data to the robot to move all the axes, including serial data for the arms and the servo data for the head. The synthesizer and what it's playing, so the kick drum is now going to make the head turn. If you, can, you can't hear this kick drum. But... And then we're going to get the snare using another cable from the snare. And then um, it can be the other motion. Yeah, let me put it into the next one. But this is only one slight thing. Like, I really want to try to. I think that MIDI thing would be really cool. So then, literally, the neck is in rotation with the head. It's almost knocking the robot over. That's so very good. So hang on a minute. Right, try that. Okay. I can use this one that's become disconnected. James's guitar, we're going to hook it right up to the robot by pitch. So the pitch is going to be converted into arm mu movements, hopefully. Right, okay. That's awesome. So yeah, there we go.
So we've got an axis on the head to move it sideways using the servos, one goes plus and one goes minus. We've got another one there that rotates it and one there that moves them both up and down to move the head up and down. And those are going to be synced to drum notes so that his head should all go crazy when the music's on. So we've got our Arduino Mega here with a voltage regulator, some batteries to power it and a relay board. And I built all this with this um, set of knobs here. So we've got 12 analog ins that go to the analog ins of the Arduino. And now we've extended those out to go to all these jacks. Only three are plugged in at the moment to the drum pads, but the rest will all be plugged into the rest of Sam's music gear. So at the moment, if I take channel nine and simulate turning that knob, which would be a zero to five volt signal, it should make some things flash on here. And that should be uh, opening the jaw and making the fire go off. Well, we made it back in one piece. The robot doesn't seem to be burnt, which is a miracle. Please don't play with fire at home. It's really dangerous. You might burn your robot. If you like more stuff like that, then you should check out Sam's channel. I'll put the link in the description and an end card at the end of the video. All right, that's all for now.